wonder. Star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to Amen. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming out to Parkview Assembly for our first annual Christmas Nativity scene. I'd like to read to you this evening from the Christmas story. So if you just uh, be patient as we go through the Christmas story and just let your heart ponder upon why Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen? Amen. Amen. The Bible says that God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary, who was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. And Gabriel appeared to her and said, Congratulations, favored lady, the Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Gabriel said, Don't be frightened, Mary, for God has decided to wonderfully bless you. Very soon now you'll become pregnant and have a baby boy, and you shall name him Jesus, and he shall be great and be called the Son of God, and the Lord shall give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he shall reign over Israel forever, and his kingdom shall never end. Amen. And Mary asked the angel, but how can I have a baby? I am a virgin. And the angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of God will overshadow you. So the baby born to you will be utterly holy, the Son of God. For nothing is impossible with God. Can amen. you say amen? amen? Amen. Mary said, I am the Lord's servant, and I am willing to do whatever he wants. May everything you said come true. And the Bible says at that time the angel of the Lord disappeared. And so these are the facts concerning the birth of Jesus his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And her jo husband Joseph, being a man of stern principle, decided not to break the en engagement because he did not want to publicly disgrace her. As he lay awake that evening, he fell into a dream. He saw an angel of the Lord standing beside him, and the angel said, Joseph, son of David, do not hesitate to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her has been conceived by the Holy Spirit. And she will have a son, and you shall name him Jesus, meaning Savior, for he will save the people from their sins. And this will fulfill God's message spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He said 750 years earlier, listen, the virgin shall conceive a child, and she will give birth, and his name will be Emmanuel, God with us. And Joseph awoke, and he did as the angel commanded, and he brought Mary home to be his wife, and she remained a virgin until the son was born. And while they were there, and it came time for the baby to be born, she gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Suddenly, the Bible says, that night some shepherds were in the field outside the village, guarding the flocks of the sheep. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them in the landscape and shone bright, and the glory of the Lord shone on the field. They were, they were very frightened, but the angel reassured them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news, the most joyous of news ever announced. For everyone, a Savior has been born, the Messiah. The Lord has been born tonight in Bethlehem. How will you recognize him? You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. The Bible says, suddenly an angel of the Lord and a vast host of others, the armies of heaven were praising God in the field. And they were saying, glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. And when this great army of angels returned again to heaven, the shepherds, turned around and said to each other, Come, let us go to Bethlehem to see this wonderful thing that has happened and the Lord has told us about. And they ran to the village and found Mary and Joseph 
and there was the baby lying in the manger. And the shepherds told everyone what had happened, and the angel of the Lord, what he had told them about this baby. Then the shepherds went back out into their fields and flocks, praising God for the visit of the angels, because they had seen the child just as the angel had described to them. So Jesus was born in Bethlehem during the reign of King Herod. And about that time, three wise men from the eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? For we have seen his star far off in eastern lands, and we have come to worship him. And King Herod was greatly disturbed, and Jerusalem was filled with rumors. And the king called a meeting of the Jew Jewish rulers and asked, Where did the prophet say the Messiah would be born? And they responded to him in the town of Bethlehem, as was written by the prophet Micah 350 years before. O little town of Bethlehem, you are not as an unimportant Judean village, for a governor shall arise from you to rule my people. And he was referring to the birth of Christ. And Herod gave a private message to the astrologers, asking them to come see him. At this meeting he found out the exact time that they first saw, saw the star, and he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search for the child, and when you find him, come back and tell me so that I could worship him too. After the interview, the astrologers, the wise men, looked out, and, and the star appeared to them again over the town of Bethlehem, and they had joy in their hearts they had never known, and they entered into the inn where the baby and his mother Mary were, and they threw themselves down before him, worshiping him, as they opened up their presents of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The gold represented the royalty that the King Jesus had come. The frankincense represented divinity that the Son of God had been born. And the myrrh represented bitterness that this baby would grow up and eventually die for the sins of you and I. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. While the wise men returned to their land, they didn't go to Jerusalem or report to Herod because the Magi were wise in stature, and they knew that Herod was trying to destroy the baby. But although, brothers and sisters, 2016 years later, they cannot do away with Jesus. Amen. They can take the manger scenes down. That's they right. can take the Ten Commandments from the government buildings, but they cannot take God out of your hearts. Amen. So I'm going to ask you to bow your heads with me today as we pray for peace over your families. We pray for peace over the great state of Delaware, and we pray for peace in your own hearts. Please pray with me this evening. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who came to die on the cross for our sins. Lord, tonight, Lord, we acknowledge your greatness here. We acknowledge the incredible gift you have given us in your son, Jesus. And Lord, let us remember that as we open the presents on Christmas Eve, that you have given us the ultimate gift, that is Jesus Christ, your Son. So I ask, Lord, to come into our hearts and give us peace. Give us joy unspeakable, Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you for your Son, Jesus. And we will forever continue to worship you and glorify you in spirit and in truth. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Pastor Brandon's going to come.